What is going on, guys? Chewy, aka Bridge Stuff, and this is some Road to Commander on Call of Duty 4. This is my first match, and it was actually my first match in a while because um, I was trying to play on my secondary account, but I had the downloading setting, uh, game setting problem, and I didn't think it would work, so I just made it. I just used my new account uh, to play four, and um, apparently it had the same problem, but eventually it, it actually downloads the game setting. So it looks like I just have to wait whenever I want to do whenever I want to play Call of Duty four. Not sure about World of War if it does that. I don't think it has it. Um. Anyways, uh, like I said before, this is my first match. Um. I think in this game I get up to level four. Um. The first session I go all the way to staff sergeant, mainly because that's my current rank, junior ROTC. And I didn't want to play that much because I think I had some homework to do. I have some homework to do right now, but I'm a procrastinator. I'm a procrastinator. Okay. Um, start. I would pronounce it a little bit better so you guys can actually understand what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I procrastinate too much. It, it doesn't really hurt me. Sometimes it does, but I can keep up with it. Like um, homework. But that really like it really messes up my schedule because like um, if I actually did my homework and played and stuff like that, I would probably have a video every day. But that's it's um so before I said I I'm not sure if I told you guys, but no, I didn't. Because um, I didn't reorder Modern Warfare 3 until last week or two weeks ago. I pre-ordered it at Best Buy. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a release, the release day. Uh, almost pretty sure I'm going to get a release week. But like I said, I'm not sure if I'm getting it the day uh, released. It might, but I doubt it. Um, let's see. So... When Modern Warfare 3 comes out, I think I'm going to focus on survival mode because that's probably the, be the smartest way to grow my channel. Um, everyone's going to be on multiplayer, so might as well do something different and uh, cover uh, survival mode. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my headset turned off because it wasn't receiving any sound. Um, the PX5s have that function where if it's... The power saving function where if it's not receiving any sound, it'll just automatic. Um, now that's gonna mess up my whole. Um, that's gonna mess up my whole commentary. I'm not sure when the game is actually ending. Like if I'm in, because way I did it is I'm watching my gameplay on Sony Vegas, so I'm not sure when to stop the comment. I'm just gonna guess. Uh, so as I was saying, I'm gonna cover survival mode or I'm gonna try to cover survival mode in the beginning because I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be on multiplayer and that's probably the best way to be different but still be uploading a game that's that's a huge release like Modern Warfare 3 what else so the only thing that's bad about that is because it's is that some people are getting the game early so if they're smart enough they're gonna stock up on videos to record uh, before the game actually goes out. So that's the only problem. Like uh, I'm pretty sure, like uh, there's some people, there's some commentators that are trying to get the game early, and some of them that are actually guaranteed to get the game early. I'm not saying it's a cheap thing to do. I'm just saying it's an unfair thing to do to people that don't have that type of and also people that don't have that type of money because if you're getting the game early I'm pretty sure they're gonna be selling it for a higher price instead of the regular $60 or the 
a regular $100. I think one of the commentators that are getting the game early said that to get the game early, hard edition, you had to pay 300 bucks. So he has. So yeah, not everybody has that um, luxury. Not everybody has uh, that advantage. Not everybody has those connections. So it can be a bit unfair to the people that don't have that opportunity to get the game early. Kind of sucks. Um, so yeah. Uh, sorry for. Like, I'm just messing up because I'm trying to get a ways to, um, never mind, I got it. My, um, my headset turned off again because it wasn't, re again, receiving any sound. So that pretty much sucks. Uh, this game, I, I don't do that good, um, I do decent but not really, really good, like, 30 and 6 or whatever. I do have, like, two matches where I do very good. Um, they're back-to-back -back matches. I think it might be, and then after that, I do bad, and the third one I do, I mean, on the fourth one, I actually do good again. Um, and they're actually really, really good, like, um, I think one of my scores was 34 and 7, or something like that. It's basically at least, at least, uh, 3 KDR with at least 20 kills. I I've actually gotten those a lot in Call of Duty 4. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but that's basically what happens. And I get knife for the last kill. Uh, the game is over. This is I went 17 and 15, uh, but this episode is not ending now because uh, I'm trying to make it so every episode is at around 15 minutes long. That way, it won't be like over 200 episodes or whatever, which I pretty much doubt because PlayStation 3 has um, double experience points. Um, Activision never got rid of that. Uh, I think Xbox still has um, regular experience points. I'm not sure why Activision didn't uh, repatch their game so it's um, normal experience points. And in this one, I have I'm, I use my AK-47. Um, I was actually able to create a class, so yeah. Um, you, you're able to create your class at level 4, just like in most Call of Duties. I think there hasn't been a Call of Duty where you can't create your class on level 4, except for Call of Duties that you can't create a class, period. Um, yeah, this is pretty much my favorite Call of Duty in all, of all time. I like the maps. Uh, they're, they're simple, but they're good. Like, um, and you might think they're kind of dull, but they're... They're actually, it's actually the perfect balance between gray and color, in my opinion. Um, because Modern Warfare 2 was a little bit too bright for me, like, it was a little bit too colorful, like, they were trying to make it too realistic, or whatever. And this is, and Black Ops was, mm, I, well, I guess, well, when I say realistic, I mean, like, the colors and stuff. And Black Ops is trying to make it feel like a war environment. Black Ops, or in other words, Treyarch. Because they did the same thing with World at War. Um, and I think Call of Duty 4 is in the be in between because there's some maps that are pretty... That, that have a pretty low saturation like this one. Where like, look at the leaves are pretty much um, gray, gray green and stuff like that. Like, really light color to it. But at the same time, it looks good. Um, I actually like pretty much all the maps on, on Call of Duty 4, except for Block. And I think Invasion is the map. I don't know. The map with the with the statue in the middle. Um, I don't like the map. I actually like that map better on Modern Warfare 2 because it's like when they... Uh, Call of Duty 4 maps on Modern Warfare 2 have a way different uh, gameplay feel. Just because of the perks, uh, the kill streaks, the guns, stuff like that, um, and the only, actually, the only map that I prefer, that's actually the only map that I prefer on Modern Warfare 2. All the other maps are, in my opinion, are better on Call of Duty 4. Like, um, 
God damn. I forgot. I think it's Bacon. Yeah, Bacon is a really good map on Call of Duty 4. Uh, Crash is a really good map on Call of Duty 4. It's actually one of my favorites. But I think my favorite overall was um, Backlot. Uh, I like... I don't know why I like it. Like, I've actually gotten killed a lot of times with the spawn frags and stuff. So, I don't know, but I still like it. Boo. See, I'm Lance Corporal by now. Um, I think during the first session I got up to three, around three episodes. Um, and this might be the first episode, but it's probably the second video you guys are going to see. Because uh, I didn't do live commentary after the, on these on the first session. As you guys can probably tell, this is not live commentary. So, yeah. Um... I decided to do start doing live commentaries in the second session and in the first uh, couple of games I explained the road to commander and why I started it and um, stuff like that basically so this actually might be your second episode you guys see um, in other words I basically pre-planned like kind of like Star Wars I, I think like uh the like they they kind of released um episodes five six and seven whatever I don't know I do not follow Star Wars that much I just know that they released um episodes five or whatever like the later episodes earlier on like they basically did the the story kind of in reverse I'm not sure. Like, I just know that the titles were in reverse. I'm not sure about the actual storyline, if it goes in order. Um, or if it's just goes backwards or something like that. I really have no idea. So, do you know uh, how the Star Wars storyline goes in the movies and stuff? Just leave it in the comment section below. And also in the comment section below, let me know if you play Call of Duty 4. Or if you, ever, if you have ever... Played Call of Duty 4, um, and when I say played, like, I mean you have your own account and you, you you used to own it or you still own it. Um, I actually stopped playing it because of the hackers. The um, the tip here is, if you're on PlayStation 3, I'm not sure about Xbox. If you see someone with the clan tag A E ons A ons, um, just leave that lobby because most like I'm not sure like sometimes. People can just be trolling, but most of the time they're they're the ones that are just hacking, and especially when they have those special characters that no one can put in their um, clan tag. So yeah, the game is coming to an end here, guys. Uh, we actually won this match, and I did not that good either. I went 16 and 12 with one two assists. Um, this is this has been the real first episode of the Road to Commander series, and I'm out.